Welcome guys to episode 414 of Minecraft and I'm using the instant massive structures mod now I'm flying away because I need a lot of space for this mod now uh, This mod has some kind of weird stuff in it, but some good stuff So uh, let's get to the good stuff and uh, kind of leave the bad stuff out actually now I'll show you everything so uh, there are all sorts of different kind of random structures now The first one is a pyramid so uh, let's go test the pyramid out and uh, there you go You have a pyramid now, uh, let's see, I haven't actually um, opened the middle of a pyramid, and uh, yes, you can have a little nice little house, it's got glowstone at the top, so uh, you can have your nice little tent or fortress here, and uh, it's quite inexpensive, although you have to have a glowstone to actually um, make this, so you have to go to the nether if you're actually playing this legit, but uh, nevertheless, let's go on, and uh, let's create a tower. Alright, alright, now I like this idea of a tower. Now, uh, I have no idea how you're supposed to get up the tower without flying, but uh, you have a cake. Whoa! Is this normal Minecraft? Did anyone see that? What happened? Like, flew up. Oh, well. I don't know, I'm not sure, but I haven't seen anyone else do that in vanilla Minecraft, so I'm guessing it is some kind of mod. And uh, you can see it's a watchtower. This, this isn't too cool, too exciting, but... Uh, Oh, it looks like it's some kind of a sponge system. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. I like this cake. I like this cake business. Now, uh, we can move on to the practical side. Uh, um, kind of, this is probably the most practical um, you can have. You have an instant um, bookcase, so you can instantly have an enchanting room. Now, uh, let's go create a light lighthouse, but it's raining. Um, all right, let's go create a lighthouse on the, on the water, I'm guessing, because... Uh, we need a lighthouse on the water. Okay, so here we go and place it down. There we go. All right. Now, whoa, got a little boo boo there, but uh, let's see. Can I break through? Yes, I can. And here we go. Here is the lighthouse, and I've got the glowstone here, but uh, I'm gonna break this and uh, see how it looks. All right, nothing, nothing too fancy yet, but uh, so something caught my eye at the end. All right, so uh, let's go through and uh, let's go create a house now. It claims that it can uh, create a house for me. Okay, okay, so it's sort of like a villager house, and it uh, gives me nice cake. Okay, but uh, nothing, nothing too shabby yet. Now uh, this is called a giant tree, and uh, I do believe it serves uh, the purpose of a tree house. And uh, let's see if there's an entrance at the bottom. No, there's no entrance at the bottom, but uh, there is a glass glass room, and, uh, whoa, it's kind of random, what kind of grass is this? No, uh, this is not grass, it's leaves. It's like a solid block. Mm, that's weird. Uh, because I'm guessing that it needs to be touching the, uh, hmm, I'm not quite sure. This is kind of a weird, weird block. I'm guessing it's new to the mod. Let's see. Here we go. Yes, a giant tree leaf. So there is an entity for it. So it's a different type of leaf. It's a sort of like a limish green. And uh, once sunlight goes through it, it uh, emits light. So uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, this one is also practical. I found practical for me is a giant pen. Now, uh, I have actually started my own farms multiple times. And uh, it sucks walking around and getting all the right measurements. So uh, this sort of automatically does this for you. Now, if we go over here, um, it creates farmland. So uh, I'm not sure if I should have done it in the pen or not. But uh, ooh, ooh, look at this! I'm playing with the uh, block, with the uh, leave block, and you can uh, actually. But that's kind of bugged out. Let's see if we can dig under it. Ah, uh, yes, we can. Okay, that's a bit. That's a bit buggy. That's a bit. That's, that's a bit scary. Okay, so let's actually get to the farmland. Here we go, and uh, that is some pretty big farmland. Now it does replace blocks anywhere that. It sees fit. So it kind of replaced um, the um, pen because it overlapped, but uh, I guess it has to do that to create the full structure. So uh, it's a pretty cool and whoa, whoa, I thought that was a massive giant tree. No, a giant, a giant um, flower. Look at that, look at that. No, you're not going first. Okay, so let's uh, continue on with this weird and wacky mod and uh, let's go and create a storehouse. Now, uh, we're going to be all badass and break the top of the storehouse. And uh, what it does is uh, basically has a storehouse. Now, it has these grass blocks that shouldn't be there. But uh, it is filled with chests and uh, glowstone. And it basically fulfills what a storehouse should look like. Now, uh, let's go make a house trap. There we go. We've got a house plus trap. Now, uh, what it does is... Uh, there you go. You get... Um, 
what's it called, you get a moat, basically filled with cactuses so zombies can't enter and look through the windows. I actually haven't seen too many people design a house like this, so uh, that's kind of cool and interesting, but uh, I certainly wouldn't want to live in a cactus infested house. What if, what if I accidentally run into, oh, wait. Okay, yeah, it's real cactus. I thought it was fake cactus. But I'm not. It's 100% legit cactus. It still hurts you. Isn't that so cactus? Yeah? You like being punched? And uh, you can also create a lava, lava one, um, lava moat around your house and uh, have a cobblestone block like this. And uh, you can have an awesome little lava house. But uh, then again, it kind of bugged out with the grass um, being on top. But you really need to find a flat area for this mod because uh, I'm just building a lot of stuff really quickly and... Uh, Whoa, whoa, we might have a problem here, but let's let's continue on. Now, this is probably my most anticipated part. I haven't looked at uh, this before. I'm saving it for the video for the pleasure of you guys, and this is called a water slide. So, uh, oh, okay, okay, I see, I see how it goes. All right, let's let's test this bad boy out. I wanna I wanna have a go of the water slide. What would be cool if we could have like a double water slide? All right, you guys are probably catching my drift. And uh, let's go. Let's go on the water slide. All right, um, there. And uh, we're gonna get a boat. Where's a boat? Um, okay, I found myself some boats. And uh, let's go in. All right, all right. This is uh, quite fun. Yeah, I thought it would be a lot more fun. I remember watching JX23 make a boat. Uh, a boat, not a boat. Make a uh, water slide. And uh, I do remember it being pretty big. So. Uh, I don't know. Say hello, JX23, because uh, I, I remember when you created a massive water slide back on your uh, main channel, and uh, it was pretty damn big. I remember those good days of you making a wa whoa, 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 whoa. We can make a boat farm. All right, creative mode. Oh, there's a boat teleportation. We don't need Seth Bling to teach us how to uh, make instant instant fall damage go away, but uh, we can make a boat factory with Create. Oh, look, it's a teleportation device. Ah, oh, look at this, learning stuff every day. All right, I'll I'll, uh, I'll continue on and uh, stop making a mess with my boats. Yeah, it's kind of a big mess. Okay, so this one is called a bunker and uh, oh, there we are. A bunkered me. All right, so we go in here and. Uh, Okay, it serves a purpose as a bunker, it's just a cobblestone house. And uh, the next one is called an arena, which is uh, kind of strange. This is what they call an arena, and oh, it doesn't have lava. Um, before it had lava uh, in the actual picture and when I tested it, but uh, this mod is kind of weird and buggy, and uh, that water slide is definitely scary and fun at the same time. But uh, it normally has a lava around. Let's, uh, let's see if we can create another one, because uh, at the time it had lava around. Where's the Okay, okay, I see arena, they call this the arena. Okay. So uh, I rate this mod a 7 out of 10 for loops, it isn't that all that awesome, but it does create a few nice things like the water slide, I was intrigued about the water slide and I made it quite a big mess, but uh, it would be awesome if it could create a, a lot of the bigger structures, I'm guessing that will lag a lot though, but uh, creating a big structure, say like uh, creating an arena, that's a pretty cool idea, if um, if someone could create a block where it, cre it would create say the paradise crater and another block would create the luxury oasis, but I'm guessing they're quite big structures so it would take quite some time and it would be kind of laggy because these are all quite small creations, but uh, it would be pretty cool if you could create more massive um, creations and actually make it awesome instead of having these kind of weird and wacky um sort of that non-aesthetic pleasing structures especially to me i don't like these structures but uh, i definitely do like the bouncy cake and i worked it out that uh, it isn't a new block added into minecraft it isn't the original cake and i just haven't figured out that the cakes go bouncy but uh there we go that, that's a pretty cool bouncy cake. Yeah, i reckon that should be added into vanilla minecraft that's one cool, that's one nifty cake. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, alright, let's do this. Alright. Let's make this a fun trip. I can't see where I'm going. No. Aw, my boat broke. How, how was I underneath like that? I was like underneath the wooden block. That was, that was kind of random and I had to float back up. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to spawn a lot of boats. Okay.
I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this boat and uh, try and ride on the wood. I guess I'm riding. 